Michelle Mosley. And I'm Carlita Hunter. And we are here with our summer cocktail series. And today we are playing around with some vodka. Organic. Organic vodka. We have some Pinot. We have some pineapples and cherries and lime. So we are going to make like a spritzer, yes. I guess, type of drink, something, a cute little cocktail for you and your girls hanging out poolside or hanging out in the house. Now we're making these drinks because we might not get to see fun. No, we're not claiming that. <laughs> we're, we're making these drinks so that you can get ready for when outside or back up. So when you're hanging with your homies, you got something that's refreshing and light that can be uh, kind of a daytime to evening drink. Yes, most definitely. And I feel like it's always fun when you entertain, when you do your own little thing instead of just buying something like, all right, let me just go get some cooler. Let me just like put my own little spin on things and make it look cute. And then people be like, I love making drinks and people be like, what is in this drink? What, how did you make this drink? But well, girl, this drink is strong. Because a lot of people say that about me. My drink is like, <laughs> my hand is heavy. Heavy handed pouring. <laughs> so the first thing we are going to do with our uh, cocktail, we are going to put our pineapple. I did wash my hands before. We're going to put our pineapples inside of this little cup. We're going to use this as our muddler. Um, we're going to put that in there. Now, how many, how many pineapples? I'm gonna say we should do like six pieces for two drinks. I, I like to go overboard. If you like to drink <laughs> mostly fruit with a little splash of alcohol, do that. <laughs> yes, if you watched any of our previous uh, episodes, our cocktail series, you know that I can get a little extra. But you know what? It's nothing wrong with, you know, bulking up on the fruit part of it. More rather, I mean, at least you can say that you had your fruit intake for the day. Yes, and I heard that pineapple and lime make the yanni taste better. Not just those two things, though. What other things? You have to make sure that your whole eating is in Oh, it's in, it's in <laughs> so like don't just think that you can you eat pineapples like that. That's gonna cover up all that McDonald's and oh, all that seafood and all that fried food. Like that's not how it works. It's a whole lifestyle thing. All right. So how many shots are you feeling today? I'm I'm feeling. I think we should do two and two. Two and two. So we gonna hit it with four shots. So we that's always for Michelle, that's two for me. Yeah, we always like to say like we don't go with the directions totally because sometimes it asks for like two shots or three shots. And well, usually it's between one and two shots, they say. And it might have been a three shot day. It might have been a three, <laughs> a three shot day. So in the meantime, I'm gonna put my ice inside the shaker. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice in here. You know, it's so hard to find organic pineapples yeah. around here. It's, it's hard to find organic fruit around here. Yeah. This is right really here. We live in a food desert. <laughs> hey, Atlantic City, Jersey. We are in South Jersey, so yeah, do AC, but bring your organic Bring your own organic <laughs> with you. I mean, DJ has it every once in a while. Oh, they it's so expensive. I mean, you can go to Brooklyn, really? go to Mayfield in Northfield. Yeah, but they're super expensive. Um, I got some like oranges and stuff from BJ's that was organic for like four ninety nine. All right, so now we're going to take our smashed up pineapples and we're going to put them in the bottom of our cup. Now, yeah. is not that only is it a garnish, but it's for the flavor. Mm-hmm. Yes. And this is our first time actually making this one. So we are doing it the first time together on film. This is our first time. We didn't do a prep. We didn't do a rehearsal. You getting it raw dog. Raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> Was that not nice to say? Listen. <laughs> so I got my lime in here. I got my ice in here. 
So I'm going ahead with these shots. Shot, 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 shot. Also, make sure you check out our double shot series, which will be every Monday on our YouTube page. You can find us, sip and discuss. Just put the whole thing together, sip and discuss, and you'll find us on all platforms that way. Woo! Was that one? That was two. Oh, that was two? This is three. This is three. And we going with four. Now, are we mixing our vodka with our... I mean, we could. I mean, I, we could pour our... Wine on last. Yeah, over, over, top, over of top of it. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, I don't know. It's a top. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, oh, it's a top. It's hers. It's hers. It's mine. It's her house. <laughs> it's her studio. No, but my, my, uh, my, uh, stepmom gave that to me, so. It wasn't something that I actually purchased and I was just... So we got it nice and cold. This vodka has been in the freezer already. We're shaking it with our ice cubes. And why do you like doing it like that? I like mixing shaking my cold vodka over the ice cubes and then pouring it because it keeps them from getting watered down. I'm a sipper, I'm not a, Ooh, a I'm sipper. Oh, I'm a sipper too. So, sipper disgust. Yes. Yeah, let's take a sip. Let's take a sip. Let's take a sip. I'm scared. 
Now don't look at my face, because my face always. Yeah, her face is not to tell whether or not it's good or not because she's going to squinch up anyway. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. It's a little different. Yeah. It's light. Yeah, well. It's real light. This this might be a creep up. Yeah. This might be a real, like, I'm a creep up on you. If you mm -hmm. drink two of these in the sun, you might be wasted. Yeah, most definitely. Definitely don't drink this on an empty stomach. Definitely. So thank you for joining our summer cocktail series. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday. We hit you with a different cocktail to brighten up your summer, get you ready uh, to entertain all of your friends this summer. Is there anything else that I'm missing? No. No, thank you. Shout out to TJ. <laughs> uh, Floyd Films in the back. Yes. Yes. Big ups. Big ups. Um, so thank you.